Graham, come like Christina Millian. Think twice. So it all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen, as we set our eyes on the number one light heavyweight contender, Daniel. I often say the greatest part of this job for you and me is seeing a non-champion break through and strike UFC goal for the first time. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. Because you watch these athletes over the course of the fight week try to wrap their mind around how big of a chance they have. And then when you get to Saturday night, you can see it on their face. They're just thinking about what life looks like after. If I get it done, how does my life change? Tonight he has an opportunity to change everything in regards to his life. And his fight week has been exceptional. It was a great weight cut, very forthcoming in our fighter meeting. All eyes on the number one 205-pound contender here tonight. Here he is with much fanfare, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. Big challenge in front of him tonight, but this man looks like an individual who could reign for something. Well, he reigned the top what was the UFC's glamour division. You go from Tito Ortiz to Chuck Liddell to Randy Couture, John Jones, Mauricio Shogun, who has so many great champions that held this title, that there is a lot of credibility that comes with it. This man loves that he is the 205 pound champion and knows how difficult it is to reign for a long time in such a tough division. A lot of budding contenders coming his way. We'll see how he handles this particular challenge here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dominic the Devastator Reyes. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. God. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. So here he is, the undisputed champion of the world. He won his last fight by... Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent from Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. He's stay in this fight. And there it is! Holy smokes! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is it. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world.
time! Well, he came in as the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion, and after that result, he goes out the way he came in. And still, ladies and gentlemen, and nice to see this moment now as he celebrates with his corner. That was as dominating a title defense as we've seen thus far this year as he knocks out the number one contender, and really in so doing, sends a message to the other contender types at 205 pounds that it's gonna take your best night and best performance, and even then, I'm still probably walking out with my belt.